to another episode. Today we're going to be continuing our series in the book of Acts and we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 6 and 7 and learning about a new man who was called Stephen. So why don't you go and find your Bibles and turn to Acts chapter 6 and let's start our story. So for today this is going to be Stephen. Say hello to Stephen. Hello Stephen. In the Bible, Stephen was described as a man who was full of God's power and grace. And he was appointed, he was put in charge of looking after people who needed help. He worked for the church. But he also was filled with the Holy Spirit and he did so many miracles and healed people. Now one day, a group of men came and wanted to have a debate with Stephen. Does anybody know what the word debate means? Well, if you don't, then a debate is when you kind of have a discussion where you have two different points of views and you kind of want to convince the other person that you're right. And that's what happened to Stephen. These men came and asked him all of these difficult questions, trying to get him to prove that he didn't actually think that Jesus was the son of God, that Jesus was just a man. But Stephen was filled with God's Holy Spirit. And that meant that he had an answer for every single one of their questions. Now this made those men really angry and frustrated. Show me your angry faces. Oh, that's right. They was, couldn't get Stephen to say anything wrong that would get him into trouble. So they decided to do something really mean. They started telling lies about Stephen, that he had said something that wasn't true. I don't know if you can pretend to whisper like you're telling lies to somebody. Yep. That's what those men were doing. They were spreading lies about Stephen. And that meant that Stephen was called to a big council meeting to some really important people in Jerusalem because they wanted to know what was going on. But as soon as Stephen was standing in front of those important men and those lies were being told, something amazing happened because Stephen's face started shining as bright as an angel's. He was so filled with God's power that it was shining out of him. And then Stephen gave this great speech and it was a bit like a history lesson. Now you have to understand that those important people, they would have known the Bible history really well. Some of them would have had to learn it all in their minds. So instead of just reading it from the Bible, they would have had to remember it all. And Stephen started telling them the story of the Old Testament. So I've got some of our Old Testament characters that Stephen mentions in his speech. And I wonder if you can remember why these characters are so important. What did God do for these characters? So you can go and get one of your grown-ups to help you and you can go and see if you can find the Bible stories for these characters. So the first character that Stephen mentions is a man called Abraham. How did God provide for Abraham? Our next character is Joseph. How did God provide for Joseph? All right, here is another one. I hope you remember this one. How did God provide for Moses? And even though Stephen said lots of different characters, the last one I want you to go and make sure that you remember is this one. How did God provide for King David? Yeah. 
So Stephen was telling these stories of these amazing biblical people to make a point. He was trying to explain to those important people in Jerusalem that God had provided again and again in so many amazing ways and yet they still didn't believe in Jesus. They still chose to disobey God and do what they want and they even put Jesus, God's rescue plan, to death. But those important people, well, they weren't too happy with Stephen telling them all of these things. Because even though they knew them, they didn't believe that Jesus was God's son. And they didn't want Stephen telling them that they were sinning and they were doing the wrong things and disobeying God. So they became really angry and grumpy. Show me your angry, grumpy faces again. <laughs> and it even says in the Bible that they became so angry that they shaked their fists at him. You shake your fist. But even though all these people were really angry at Stephen, Stephen was filled with God's power and he could even see Jesus. And he says, look, I can see Jesus in heaven. And that made those people even angrier. And they even dragged him outside and they started to throw rocks at him. Now I wonder if you could go outside and find a rock. Now, this is just a rock that we have at home that we've decorated and that's something that you can do as one of the activities this week. But what would you feel if somebody started throwing these at you? I bet you wouldn't be very happy. I'm sure you'd be really scared. But that's what has happened to Stephen. But instead of being angry or sad, or scared? Stephen prayed. He knew that God was with him through it all. And it gave him so much love, even for those people that were hurting him, that he asked God to forgive them for what they did. Can you imagine asking God to forgive someone who was throwing rocks at you? Well, that's what Stephen did. And isn't that amazing? Now, actually, on this rock, I have the word forgive, because that's what Stephen did. He knew that God wanted everybody to know about how much he loved them. And, he, and Stephen was so filled with God's power and love that he knew he could forgive those people hurting him. Now Stephen did a really difficult thing. He was killed because he believed in Jesus. Now, you and I might not die because we believe in Jesus, but we might be asked to do difficult things or have people make fun of us or laugh at us because of what we believe in. But God asks us to be brave and courageous like Stephen and stand up for what we believe in. We do have a challenge this week. It's a bit different from last week's challenge. So why don't you have a look and see if you want to try it out. So this week our challenge is a lot less messy from last week. So if you watched it or even tried out the challenge last week, you probably did get into a bit of a mess. So this is a different sort of challenge. This is called the stone stack challenge. And you need to collect some stones, either from your garden, or if you can't find the garden, maybe you can hunt some in the park, or if you go down to the beach, maybe, you can find some stones. And the challenge is to see how high, in a stack, one by one, you can build the stones. So I'm not sure how good I'm going to be of this, but let's give it a couple of tries. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so I think that's probably as good as I'm going to try today. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stones. Let's see if we can beat that. So this is the stone stack challenge. So try and see how tall you can build your stones. Take a picture of it before it falls down and send it to me. And the tallest tower will win a prize. I can't wait to see your pictures. So remember that just like Stephen, we can be faced with challenges, but God will always be with us and help us get through it. So our memory verse for this week comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. And this is a great verse to help us to remember to stand up for what we believe in. Be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. And if you didn't realise, it is actually Father's Day today. So happy Father's Day to all the dads and father figures in our lives. I hope you all have a great day and are thoroughly spoiled by your families. It's been great to see you. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.